Hi friends, welcome to Fema Academy. We were studying about circuit theory in this series and in this video we will be learning the current and voltage sources. So before going to the current source and voltage source, let us recollect what we have learned so far. We have learned about a circuit element which is nothing but a two terminal device. It is nothing but a two terminal device. You can see that here a terminal A and terminal B is there. One terminal is marked positive another terminal is marked negative. So these circuit elements is the basic building block of any circuit. These are the basic building blocks of any circuit. Now there are two types of uh, circuit elements. In the circuit elements we can divide it into two types. One is passive element another one is active element. So what is passive element? Passive elements will always dissipate the energy. So the elements which are dissipating the energy is known as passive elements. Otherwise we can say that it is absorbing. It is absorbing the energy. So best example is resistor because when we connect a resistor across the voltage source we can see that heat is dissipated. So it is it is wasting the energy. It is, it is absorbing the energy from the uh, energy source. So another element is active element. So this is supplying the energy, this is giving the energy. That means, see passive elements are absorbing the energy and active elements are supplying the energy. The best example is battery. Battery is the best example of a two terminal device which is supplying the energy. So here I have uh, given, uh, given some of the examples, resistor, capacitor, inductor etc are the example of passive elements and generators, batteries, op amps, ICs, these are the examples of active elements. Now we can classify all the elements based on the relationship between the current through it and the voltage across it. So based on the current through this two terminal device and what is the voltage appearing across this two terminal device, uh, based on that we can classify uh, any device. So for example, if the uh, voltage uh, current relationship is linear, linear, then we can say that it is a resistor, resistor. Uh, if the current is uh, derivative of voltage, derivative of voltage, then we can say that uh, that device is an inductor, inductor. Otherwise, if uh, current is integral of voltage then we can say that it is a capacitor it is a capacitor so based on the behavior of the device to the current through it and the voltage across it we can categorize it into different different categories voltage and current source are the most important active elements so we said that we have two types of elements active elements so the the post the topic which we are learning today is current source and voltage source. These are active elements. So always remember that uh, voltage source and current sources are best examples of active elements. So this is again categorized into two categories. One is dependent source and another one is independent source. So uh, voltage source and current source are active elements and these are categorized into two first one is dependent source and the second one is independent source. Now we can see that if the voltage is completely independent of the current or the current is completely independent of the voltage. So when we take the voltage across the device it is independent of the current through it or current when we take measure the current through the device then the voltage across it is independent of the voltage across it then we call such kind of device as independent sources so independent sources here voltage and current are independent to each other so that kind of devices is not devices are known as independent sources if the voltage or current depends on the current or voltage at some other parts of the circuit so we are measuring uh, some voltage or current at a particular location. If that is depending on the current or voltage at some other part of the circuit, then that kind of sources are known as dependent sources. That kind of no sources are known as dependent sources. So we will study about the two types of uh, sources. Uh, one is independent source, another one is dependent source. So independent source means its voltage or current is independent of the 
current or voltage through it and dependent source means the current or voltage in that particular source is depending on the current or voltage at some other location so that is um, dependent source dependent sources are mainly used to model active elements uh, for ease of circuit analysis you may have uh, you may wonder why we are using this kind of dependent sources when we study about dependent sources because practically we cannot observe that but this is very useful in modeling the elements like transistor op amps ic's that you will uh, learn in the circuit analysis so this is mainly used for this dependent source always remember that these dependent sources are mainly used for modeling of the active elements now let us look at the independent voltage source in independent voltage source the terminal voltage is completely independent of the current through it so let us take a two terminal device like this two terminal device like this two terminal device like this and when we measure the voltage across this two terminal it is independent of the current it is independent of the current uh, uh, whatever voltage we want we will get we are not bothered about the current an ideal voltage source can uh, deliver infinite amount of energy if you look from this perspective we know that uh, p is equal to v into i so we know that the uh, voltage is completely independent of the current please keep in mind that the ideal voltage source is a theoretical device uh, that means it can provide infinite amount of energy it can provide infinite amount of energy so we are not bothered of the current we need a particular voltage which is independent of the current so it can uh, give infinite current also we are not bothered about the current so an ideal voltage source can deliver infinite amount of energy that is not practically possible so this is an ideal concept so here i have shown uh, the independent voltage sources so the first figure shows the independent uh, voltage source you can see that we will always mark plus and minus inside a circle and we will write vs this s represents source this s represent source and uh, we can say that we are using small letter v so this means that the, the voltage may be uh, changing with respect to time now look at this this diagram here also a circle is there plus minus is there vs is mark now you can see that the current is flowing into the current is flowing into the uh, source so what is as per the sign convention we know that if the sign is plus and minus and if the current is flowing into the plus terminal then this device is absorbing the energy this device is absorbing the energy now look at this diagram here also vs plus minus everything is marked but here you can see that the current is going upwards so what does that mean as per the sign convention if the current is going out of the plus terminal then that device is supplying the energy so we know that a voltage source is always supplying energy it is not absorbing the energy it is an active element which is supplying the energy so this this particular symbol is a, uh, a very good approximation of the independent voltage source now assume that the voltage is not varying with respect to time it is a constant then we will represent v capital v s then we will call it as dc voltage source we will call dc because the direct current or constant voltage is coming out of the source so this is represented like this we will use a capital vs and that is the dc voltage source so this is the symbol of a battery so here one plus and minus also uh, it's a dc voltage source here a plus minus and v is marked in between and these lines represent the positive and negative plates in a battery so this is the representation of a battery and if we have an ac voltage source alternating uh, current voltage source then we will mark a sine wave inside this circle so this means an ac voltage source this is the symbol of independent voltage source now look at the independent current source current through an element through the element is completely independent of the voltage across the terminal that is the definition of independent current source so we have a two terminal device like this so if we measure the current this current is independent of the voltage so the voltage can vary it can be any value it can be up to infinity so again if we calculate p is equal to v into i since we are concerned only about the current 
the voltage can be any value and it can go up to infinity. So in that case, we can say that the ideal current source can provide infinite energy because we are not bothered about the voltage. We are not aware of the voltage. It can be any, we, we need some particular current. So this device will always give that particular current. And uh, for that, how much, what, what voltage required that this device is ready to provide that voltage. Shows that the ideal voltage source can provide in infinite energy. So this is a theoretical concept. This is a theoretical concept and this device is a theoretical device. The voltage source across the independent current source depends on the uh, circuit. Now I will uh, show the symbol of the uh, current source. This is the independent current source. So this shows that I a small letter I is a the current may be varying this S represents source. This is a current source and we will uh, use a circle again use a circle and we will mark an arrow flowing upwards. So that shows that the current is flowing. This is the symbol independent current source and if it is an independent AC current source we will use a sine wave uh, in this arrow mark. So that is the uh, symbol of the independent current source. Many people think that the voltage across this uh, current source is zero but that is not true. The voltage across the independent current source depends on the circuit. It can be any value. It is not zero. It can be any value that depends on the circuit to which it is connected. Now we will see uh, dependent current sources. So these dependent current sources are also known as controlled source. Controlled source. So we studied independent uh, current source and voltage where we learned that the current or voltage uh, in the terminal is not depending on any value. In the independent current source and voltage source we learned that the current through the device or the voltage across the device is not depending on the current or voltage in the uh, terminal. But here that is not the case. The current and voltage is depending on the current and voltage at some other uh, location in the circuit. So that is why we can say that it is a controlled source. So source voltage or current is determined by a voltage or current existing at some other location in the circuit. That is an important point. So here the current or voltage across the source is depending on the current or voltage at some other location. This is mainly you appear in the equivalent circuit of transistors. So we are using these dependent sources mainly to represent the equivalent circuits of transistors, op amps and ICs. We are using this dependent source for modeling of the uh, active elements like transistors, op amps and ICs. So in this picture I have shown the symbolic representation of the dependent sources. Here you can see this is the current controlled current source. So we are using diamond symbol. So please note it carefully that we are using diamond symbol, diamond symbol to represent the dependent source. So for independent sources we are using circles, the diamond is used for representing the dependent source. Here you can see that this is a current control. So Ix, this is the controlling current, it is scaled by a factor k and it is a dimensionless scaling constant, k is nothing but a dimensionless scaling constant, k into Ix. So the current from this source is depending on some other current called Ix. So that is why it is called current control current source. Now look at this. Here you can see that this is also a current source because we have shown an arrow current is flowing through that. But it is depending on Vx that is the voltage at some location Vx multiplied by a factor G where G uh, has the unit A by V because the current is depending on the voltage so g is equal to i by vx and we know that the unit of i is ampere and the unit of vx is voltage so the unit of g is a by v now look at this figure here you can see that the plus and minus is marked inside this diamond that means that this is not a current source this is a voltage source but the voltage across this voltage source depending on the voltage at some other location. So Vx, Vx is nothing but a voltage at some other location. So it is depending on the voltage at uh, some other location multiplied by a scaling constant. This k is a dimensionless uh, constant. 
So now look at this picture here also this is also a voltage source but you can see that it is depending on some current Ix at some other location in the circuit it is multiplied by a scaling factor R and its unit is V by A because V is equal to R into Ix so R is equal to V by Ix so we know that the unit of V is voltage is V and the unit of uh, current is ampere so the unit of uh, R is V by A so R is a scaling factor with the unit V by A now you may have a doubt why this K, ha K is a dimensionless constant so now write the equation for this first symbol I is equal to Ix into K so K is equal to I by Ix so it is a unit it is a dimensionless quantity because both the units are ampere so that will cancel and it is a dimensional here also if you look at this this particular uh, symbol we, we, we can see that V is equal to K into Vx so in that case K is equal to V by Vx so again that is a dimensionless quantity because both the units are volt so this is the dependent sources I hope it is clear thank you for watching